Uh, I just met up with him earlier. It's a great guy. William Lee, he's going to be our next speaker, and he is a distinguished Toastmaster. Yeah. And he was a division governor. Wow. Leading wow. 25 Toastmasters from his division to their success. Wow. He has more than 30 years of international success as a contest judge, a wow. public speaker, wow. a trainer, wow. an author, and a businessman. Wow. William is a highly respected chairman of the Singapore chapter of the Worldwide Business Organization. Wow. If anybody related to him called LIN Ling, Chamber of Commerce. He traveled to many places, met many people, confronted many obstacles, and achieved more than many others. But he told me, he said he got a list of uh, credentials, but I think it takes too long because his subject is called the journey. So if I'm going to say more about William, he has gone through very, very hard time. Each time William Paul, he gets up and says, let's go over the next step forward. And you'll share the lesson learned all the long journey to success. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William Lee. Yes. Thank you, MC of, of the day. Very good evening, friends of Agora. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Very good evening. In every success, there bounds to be many sorrows. Within. Can I have a show of hands? How many of you have actually experienced sorrow and failure before? Good. So those who didn't put out a hand, I take it that you uh, your life is perfect. Yes. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We are not married yet. <laughs> well, I went through life in stages and everything comes to me as a challenge. Life is just like a roller coaster. Mm. But just take the word life for example. How do you spell life? L I F E. True? So L stands for living, E stands for ending your life, and what do you have in between? I have E. That's, that's where you actually create procrastination within yourself. You are uncertain. Every now and then you ask yourself, if I will do this, what will happen to me? If I will do that, what will, what will my life be like? So ladies and gentlemen, it's all about controlling your life. You must know how to manage it. Now, life itself is just like basketball if you are playing with it. If you know how to bounce it, the harder you bounce, the higher you fly, right? Likewise, on the other hand, what if let's say you just let the ball drop off from my hand, just like this. It will bounce a few, a few times and then it start rolling. Now, if that's the kind of life that you want, you are going towards failure. So start learn how to bounce your life, set your goal and throw the ball. And control it every now and then. Life is also like a roller coaster. There's many ups and downs. When we are going up, we feel so lively and we feel so refreshed, we feel so happy because things are going well. But then again, once we reach the top, this is where the fear came about. What if let's say we lost our business? Likewise in the roller coaster. When we start looking down and the train came down, <coughs> some died of heart attack, some shout like they are going crazy, some just close their eyes, they don't they dare not to see. But then again there's always a group who will let go of their hand and shout, Yay! <laughs> now life is how you want to control it. I've controlled my life. And even though I control my life, there's always up and down. So I'm going to share with you these four letters. First, in order for you to survive in the market itself, the current market or future market, first thing you need to know is the letter K. K as for knowledge. Don't just know what you think it is, because that's only the surface of it. You may tell yourself, say, yeah, I know about this, I know about that, and so on. But then again, do you know in depth of it? Do you really understand what's actually happening over there? And how do you actually activate that? You see? Unless you're able to learn and understand what is it, what is it all about, you'll be able to use it with grace. You'll be able to use it to the optimum of yourself. How to actually take benefit of that? Now, to me, 
a mobile app itself is frightening. I play with mobile app, but then again, what has it got to do with me? Until lately, a couple of months back, a friend came to me and said, Hey William, I'm looking for a partner. Would you be keen? I said, what is it all about? He said, mobile app design and development. I said, wow, that's interesting. So I said, teach me about it. Although I'm already 50, but I'm still learning. So when he taught me about mobile app and so on, I said, hey, this is interesting. There's a lot of market for this, and there's a lot of people that we can bless it with. So I got to learn about it, and I just submit my mobile app this morning, and it'll take two to five days for, for Google to approve it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Once approved, you'll find a lot of things inside there, a lot of sharing, a lot of free PDF books as well, which you can learn from it. And likewise, I'll be doing a lot of videos as well in clips to share with you what public speaking is all about and how you use that communication skills to the best of your ability. Wow. So that is knowledge. Once you're able to do that, you can do marvelous things. The second thing is I, integrity. Now, whatever thing that you have promised others, please deliver. With no integrity and so on, people will actually look down on you. They wouldn't want to get associated with you as well. As time goes by, they say that this guy is a liar, it's a cheat. And you'll be telling a lot of people about that. And then what happens next? Your name will tarnish. So always have integrity with what you are doing and so on. Be yourself. Whatever thing you say, make sure you do it. Hold your responsibility and make sure that your integrity is there. The third letter is letter N. Letter N as in network. As Robert Kiyosaki once said, the rich network, the rest work. <laughs> so it all depends on whether who you want to network with. If you are networking with business people and so on, good for you. You get to know more about other business, how, how they run their business, and probably you can share some ideas with them. Hey, this is how you can actually improve it. Yeah? So from there itself, you get more and more friends. So network is important because you won't know when these people is coming to help you. So always build on your network. The fourth thing is G. And, and this G itself is your guts. If you have no guts to do anything, then basically you are not doing anything. So you need to have your guts. Whatever thing that you see, hey, this is possible, let's do it, and make sure you stand by it. You don't just drop off halfway through. Okay? So I want to show you, show you how important it is to have guts and the, dare, the daring to do things that you want to do. Can I have someone who think that he is strong and muscular to actually come out and help me with this? <laughs> Anyone? Oh. Good. Oh. Can, can you give me a round of applause? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is going to be short, right? Okay. So your name? End of my life, Charles. 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 Yes. Charles, good. I want you to put your hand up straight, hold it there as firm as possible. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to push it down. Okay. okay. Right. Which much of my ability. And I'm going to hold up with yes. much of my ability. Okay. Right. So, okay. So what I want you to do right now is to have it in mind as well as saying it aloud. I resist. Okay. I keep on repeating it. I resist, I resist, I resist. Okay? Okay? I resist. Okay, it's, okay, thanks. It's not that easy. Alright? Now, I want you to add a word in between. And that's, I try resist. Okay? I try resist. Alright? Okay? Got it? See ya? Okay, thank you. Wow. Set to I try, you will, your mind will take it that whether I'll do it or I don't do it. So never try. If you try, you'll die. Don't, anal don't analyze until you go paralyzed. Once you set your mind to it, just go for it and keep doing it until you succeed in life. Back to you.
Isn't it wonderful? Yes. yes. My name is Lois. Hi, Lois. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so we talk about success, failures. But what is life <coughs> without failures? Cannot be success, success all the time. <coughs> we learn a lot in failures in our downtime. It's the time that teaches us the most important values in life. But he gave tips on how to succeed today. King, no? She's very <laughs> Knowledge, integrity, network, and guts. Wow. So he gave these tips for us to succeed. Yes, very uh, good pointers for us to succeed in our lives. But also remember that the downtime is also as important as the downtime. time. Wow. My name is Hanelet. I'm a first timer here, and I'm uh, since it's my first time, I'm not uh, really sh sure how to uh, evaluate the technicalities of how he uh, he the structure of his speech. But I think the most important uh, the most important point on uh, on to to, to your speech is how you, uh, the choice of your, how the the, cho the the choice of your topic, which is very important. That's yes. that's the way the, the your <laughs> your your uh, your audience will cap will be captivated up until the end of your speech. Yeah. So, All right. Thank you.